Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. In November 1979, 53 Americans were taken hostage at the U.S. Embassy in Tehran, Iran. In response, the United States military launched a joint rescue attempt known as Operation Eagle Claw. It involved the complex plan to use helicopters to transport U.S. Special Forces troops to a staging area in the Iranian desert. From there, they would fly to Tehran to carry out the rescue mission. Unfortunately, an unexpected sandstorm, mechanical failure, and a deadly crash caused the U.S. to abandon the operation. Though Eagle Claw was a failure, it highlighted the need for a versatile transport craft that combined a helicopter's vertical takeoff ability with the cargo capacity and stability of a plane. This eventually led to the creation of the V-22 Osprey. The V-22 Osprey is an extremely unique military aircraft in that it can function as both a helicopter and an airplane. It was developed via a collaboration between Bell Helicopter and Boeing and incorporates tilt rotor technology, something that is rather rare in aerospace design. Essentially, this means that the engines and propellers can be tilted to allow the aircraft to take off and land vertically. However, they can quickly be moved into the forward position to allow for a standard flight. This versatility allows the Osprey to operate with or without a runway and function in urban areas and remote locations. The primary mission of the Osprey is troop transport. Though it is just 57 feet long, it can carry up to 32 troops, 20,000 pounds of cargo, or even a small transportable ground vehicle, like the M1161 Growler. After their introduction, Osprey quickly became a favorite mode of transportation for U.S. Marines. These men and women frequently need to move from ship to shore and back again, and the safest way to do that is with a helicopter. The Osprey has the ability to operate in the same manner while carrying more troops than all but the largest military choppers. The Osprey can also outmaneuver and outrun most helicopters, which plays a pivotal role in protecting the troops on board. With its large rear ramp, troops can quickly move on and off the Osprey, typically without the aircraft having to stop its engines. This is an undeniable advantage for both incursions and extractions when troops need to be brought into or out of a dangerous situation as quickly as possible. Over the years, the V-22 has set several records and participated in several major events. For instance, a U.S. Marine MV-22 conducted the longest transit in the Western Hemisphere in 2015.
the crew piloted the Osprey from Miramar, California to Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, a journey covering more than 6,165 miles. Two years earlier, the MV-22 set a speed record by flying 385 miles from New River, North Carolina to the Naval Air Station in Maryland in just one hour. Ospreys were used extensively during the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina, as well as the 2011 tsunami in Japan. One of the most important units in the United States military is Marine Helicopter Squadron 1, abbreviated as HMX-1. This group is responsible for the transportation of the president, vice president, heads of state, and other VIPs as directed by the Department of Defense and the White House. The V-22 Osprey was introduced to HMX-1 in 2013 and joined the existing fleet of VH-3D Sea King and VH-60N Whitehawk helicopters already acting in this role. The United States government frequently hosts foreign dignitaries, many of which must be shuttled from one place to another. When traveling by Osprey, the visitor and their team will be able to walk directly on board the aircraft, which has a much nicer interior than the V-22s assigned to the military. The V-22 provides an excellent option for moving these important men and women from place to place while ensuring they remain completely protected by highly trained members of the U.S. military. And thanks to the V-22's versatile takeoff and landing capabilities, there is no time wasted transporting the foreign VIP to the airport and back. It's common for the manufacturers of military aircraft and other weapons to provide their designs to foreign powers, providing that they are allies with the United States. This was the case in 2012, when former Japanese Defense Minister Satoshi Morimoto ordered an investigation into the potential costs of operating a fleet of V-22s. At the time, Morimoto was interested in the Osprey for several reasons. First, it had greater operational flexibility and range than the traditional helicopters currently used by the Japanese military. Also, the aircraft was relatively new and could help meet Japan's initiatives to update its military capabilities and thus enhance its strategic posture in the region. At the time, territorial disputes with China and North Korea proved worrisome enough that Japan held a number of drills with the U.S. military and other countries to ensure it could use the B-22 with maximum efficiency.
Though the V-22 program is generally considered a success by both the U.S. military and the aircraft's developers, the Osprey is not without its downsides. The primary issue is maintenance. Indeed, the V-22 Osprey is a complex aircraft that requires consistent maintenance to ensure safe and reliable operation. Not only does it function as both helicopter and an airplane, but it also features various folding sections designed to help reduce the amount of space it takes up on board aircraft carriers and amphibious assault ships. The maintenance process starts with a daily inspection. This is intended to reveal any signs of wear or damage in the engines, rotor blades, transmission, and hydraulic systems. Like all other military aircraft, the B-22 also has scheduled maintenance, which includes routine inspections, overhauls, and component replacements. This is generally based on each aircraft's flight hours, but it's not uncommon for them to be time-based as well. Another critical aspect of maintaining the V-22 is corrosion control. The Osprey is designed to operate in a wide variety of environments, exposing it and its components to sand, dust, sea salt, and ice. All of this can accelerate corrosion and put the crew and aircraft in danger. Therefore, regular inspections and treatments are implemented at bases worldwide to prevent corrosion from compromising the aircraft's structural integrity. While there's no denying the V-22 has achieved its intended mission, it remains a maintenance-intensive aircraft that requires a lot of attention to stay in the air. Regardless of the B-22 being the most recognizable tilt rotor aircraft, it is far from the only one. In fact, there are numerous tilt rotor aircraft available for both military and civilian use. Indeed, there is massive potential for aircraft that can take off like a helicopter, but fly like a conventional plane. The increased speed and range is perhaps the most important example, but the sheer versatility is hard to ignore. Researchers like those at NASA are increasingly investing in more and more tilt rotor experiments. Much of this work is done via advanced computer models, but it's estimated that NASA will start developing its own vertical lift aircraft in the very near future. The most notable example of NASA's investment in the concept is the TRAST program, or the Tilt Rotor Aeroelastic Stability Testbed. The goal is to design even more advanced tilt rotor vehicles and overcome some of the problems that continue to hinder the V-22's performance. Whether the final solution is military, civilian, or something else, tilt rotor technology has the potential to revolutionize air transportation.
It could be used for everything from emergency medical services to package delivery to urban air mobility. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.